how do you do? My name is Lane Raspberry. I edit Wikipedia's Blue Raspberry, and I'm interested in LGBT and queer topics on Wikipedia and otherwise. I'm going to be talking about a proposed move of the Wikipedia article titled LGBT to LGBTQ. I, my major position is that if we're going to make this move, we don't need to be hasty. We need to make sure that we have diverse participation in the conversation and that we should acknowledge that there's been decades of historical debate about what to call the movement. It wasn't always called LGBT. There was a time when the LGB, the B, the G, and the T uh, were separate entities and they had to come together to collaborate. Also, the term LGBT is about 40 years old. The, the acceptance of the term queer is about 20 years old. And for us to add a new letter to this, it changes the context of the article. It changes the cultural and global conversation about gender and sexual minorities. And if it is the right choice to change, then it should also be the right choice weeks and months from now. We should be careful about our decision and make sure that everyone who has something to say about the topics is able to, to speak on the subject. So um, that's my major position, just more conversation and, and make sure that we uh, bring in expert authorities and follow Wikipedia process. My minor position in this really shouldn't matter, but I'll just share it with you anyway, is that I wish the article should be titled LGBT+, because I think that's more inclusive. There's more identities to add to the mix than just queer identities, and queer is not an umbrella term that fits for everybody. But if we add plus, that is more inclusive. Uh, people understand LGBT because it's such an old and internationally established term. And if we're going to add something to it, add something that represents everybody and not just a subset of people. <clears throat> I've got another minor position, and I'm going to have to explain this one. Uh, but Wikipedia does not have an article on queer people. <laughs> and I think that if we're going to add the Q to the LGBT, then we should establish and develop and come to consensus about a Wikipedia article for queer people. I think it would surprise a lot of people to come to understand that Wikipedia doesn't already have this article. Uh, so uh, for anyone who's not a Wikipedian, let me explain something about the wiki editorial process. So Wikipedia is a volunteer community. It's volunteer organized. There is no paid staff who are in the mix of things. Uh, who demand that, that things happen in a certain way. We have conversations. There are rules. Wikipedia is not an anarchy. Uh, there's a systematic way in which we go through these conversations. There's a, there's a process for this. People follow the rules and people respect the process. And it's had decades of, of good outcomes that people are satisfied with the way Wikipedia bureaucracy works. There's specific rules for what the title of Wikipedia articles should be, and there's lots of criteria that you can read in Wikipedia's documentation for how to decide the title of articles. But some of the, the general guidance in this documentation is that when we're titling a Wikipedia article, we look at uh, the um, what authorities use, like what do expert organizations who can speak for or represent a topic, what, what do they say? And then we also look at a count or a weight of the sources. So if there's many authorities who all have different opinions, we try to count those in different ways. And we say, OK, we've, we've got to make a decision. We could be just going to title this article one way or the other. So let's do our best to weigh the sources and say, where, where does the balance lie? For the proposed rename of LGBT to LGBTQ, <clears throat> one might ask, uh, what do the what is the what is the organization, the LGBT or the LGBTQ organization, which claims to speak for everybody in the world and has uh, participation and respect of this entire demographic? And what is the global consensus of this? There, there is no there is no such organization. There, there is no uh, LGBT, LGBTQ or, or similar organization registered at the United Nations that speaks for the, the nation of, of, all, of all queer people everywhere. Uh, no, no such thing. So we have to look at, at, at different precedents. And uh, I, would, I would actually argue that Wikipedia itself is the most international such organization representing this this demographic of, of gender and sexual minorities. And the reason I say this is because Wikipedia for 
for, for, for 20 years has been the most requested, published, accessed, and consulted source of information on topics related to these. It's some of Wikipedia's most popular articles. It's relatively popular as compared to anything on the internet. I, I would argue that any journalist, policymaker, questioning person, individual who's seeking information on these topics, they go to the internet, they look for information, they pass through Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is highly influential, not just in English language, but in every language in the world. And also for people who aren't represented in Wikipedia in their language community, uh, they often seek information on sexual and sensitive topics. This is this is well known. These are very popular in Wikipedia. And they'll actually translate the Wikipedia article uh, in English into their own language. So it, it's highly influential. It really makes a difference. We should be careful and make a, a conscious consensus-based choice that we're, that, we're, that we're doing the right thing here. So... Uh, the argument made is that in this in this move discussion process is that people considered the sources in the media ecosystem and they found lots of organizations that say LGBTQ is, is their preferred ter term. So many authorities, m more authorities prefer LGBTQ over LGBT and there's um, lots of other sources which prefer LGBTQ to LGBT. And I totally agree with that. So if you're looking at the media ecosystem, LGBTQ is more popular than LGBT. Uh, I've got two, two, two complaints about this. <clears throat> One is that I don't think that the, the media being examined is actually global. And I think it represents mostly Western, mostly wealthy institutes and in individuals and commentators and researchers because the wealthy people, they have more influence in the media ecosystem. And normally that's fine for Wikipedia because normally we're not talking about something so global and so sensitive. But I'm sympathetic to people who are, are not appearing in the media and I think they should have extra weight in this conversation. And I'm talking especially about traditional non-hetero, non-cis identities and indigenous identities who are underrepresented in research, underrepresented in journalism and media, but who have been practicing their their lives for centuries, much, much longer than, than queer people, and who need representation. So these demographics, the 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 silent in, indigenous and traditional identities, I'm not saying it's a perfect fit. But because of economics, because of healthcare, because of politics, these groups, the umbrella term is, is LGBT. So everybody, even if it's not a perfect fit, everybody's included in LGBT and in, in policymaking and, and legislation. And so these groups are represented there. If we were to, to add the, the Q to the, the LGBT, then I feel like that gives hyper priority to modern, wealthy, Western trends. And I do respect... Queer, queer identity, it's it's very important, but I don't think that it should be prioritized over um, a next demographic. If we're going to go forward into the future, then we're, we're all coming together. I don't think we should leave any, anyone left behind. And to add the cue that because of Wikipedia's influence, Wikipedia is going to be telling policymakers and journalists and everyone in the world that the, the preferred term that has global consensus is LGBTQ because Wikipedia just... It fulfills that role in the media ecosystem. It is the authority that everyone takes as default. If somebody sees something in Wikipedia, they think, well, that must be the way it's supposed to be. And I'm not saying Wikipedia is supposed to be that way. I'm just saying that's the way it is. And if we're going to tell the world what to do, I would like to emphasize Wikipedia's values of diversity and inclusiveness and choose a solution, even if it doesn't match the media ecosystem, even if it doesn't match the authorities that uh, we're, we're including everybody when we talk about LGBT plus, and we should use a term like LGBT plus, or just be more thoughtful for other solutions. Maybe, maybe there are other, other solutions. Now about betting on adding the Q to the, the LGBT, there's another funny, funny issue with it. And uh, we need to discuss this and, and be thoughtful about why this is the case. But English Wikipedia does not have a Wikipedia article for queer people. And this is this is a little mind blowing. Like, how can this be? What, what, what is this a mistake? Really, is there no Wikipedia article for, for, for queer people? So we have a Wikipedia article for lesbian. OK, we have an article for gay, gay men. We have an article for bisexuality and we have an article for transgender. 
we do not have an article for queer people. We do not have an article for queer identity, queer community, anything like this. What Wikipedia does have is an article for queer, the word, queer, the, the, the term, like queer, open parentheses, term, close, close parentheses, etymology. Like what is the history of the word? How is the term used? Where, where does it apply? Who uses it? And if it, it's kind of kind of a funny argument to make, but if if Wikipedia is going to have an article LGBTQ, shouldn't we start by having an article on queer and, and queer people, and define what what that is? Uh, one might ask, and I'm I'm not going to go into this. It can be debated on Wikipedia. Why doesn't Wikipedia ar already have an article on queer or queer people? And I would argue that there's systemic bias. In, in English Wikipedia, and that queer people are mostly Western, mostly wealthy, uh, and they, they go and they see themselves represented well enough in the article for LGBT. And this is like an off-the-wall proposal, but if we're looking at what do authorities use, what are the weight of the sources, what is the, the journalist and, and media ecosystem, what term does it actually use, it's true, LGBTQ is more popular than LGBT, but more popular than either one of those is just the term queer. It's much, much more popular. There's queer studies, queer health, queer activism, queer identity, queer march, queer pride. People don't typically say either LGBT or LGBTQ in these things. I think the weight of the sources for the, for the concept would be queer. But I think that there's a lot of people who while they would support a move of the article from LGBT to LGBTQ, I think they would hesitate at making a move from LGBT to queer. And if that kind of topic were on the table, people would have more discussion. What, what does it mean to be queer? To what extent is queer different from being LGBT? What, what, what exactly is the, is the definition of queer? Does queer include indigenous or traditional non-cis, non-hetero identities that have existed for centuries? Like when the queer umbrella dropped, did that mean that everybody in the world just consented to identify as, as queer if they're, if they're non-hetero, non-cis? Does queer exclude anybody? Does anyone not want to identify as queer that might be included in these kind of labels? I think if we had a Wikipedia article for queer people, the, the lines of who is queer and who is not queer, what does it mean to be queer? Is, is queer different from something like bisexuality, which is a thing that people do. It may not, doesn't have to be an identity. Does queer have to be an identity or is a queer a behavior that other people can assign you the label queer if, if they think you're engaged in, in queer behavior? We could discuss these more fully if we had a, a Wikipedia article for queer. I don't have all the answers. I'm not an expert. Uh, there are expert or sources to cite. Wikipedia's got good democratic and democratic and editorial processes for going these things. I'm not completely opposed to a Wikipedia move from LGBT to LGBTQ, but the discussion was open for 13 days. About 20 people participated in it. If we do this kind of move, we're going to be changing 50,000 links to Wikipedia articles and several hundred thousand mentions in the prose and text, not to mention the ripple effects where content in Wikipedia affects the entire media ecosystem and global discourse. I, I really don't think we should be so hasty. Let's take a little more time to think about it. Thanks very much for hearing me out.